Hey, when you see us pray, you prefer, give us hasanat. Very yeah, good. Hasanat. Very if good. It gives now, us hasanat. The hasanat, it will be happiest. You will be happy how much you make something good in your life. Excellent. Very good. Scared. Prayer will, pray will make it go. Will make the thing that's make us scare go and make us feel happy again. Today, Miss, I pray at four o'clock. Excellent, and it makes you feel secure. Very good, nice, Ms. lovely. Today, today yes, when um, the prayer starts, I go to pray, with, and I was scared to go. I had to go to my room because there's no light. It was off. Mm -hmm. and I say I will have to go to my room because my mom's asleep. I go, I didn't scare, I see, nothing happened. I say, alhamdulillah, because I pray, Rabbi is with me. Of course, Rabbi, very say, good. I, will not, I nothing will happen to me until now, nothing happened, alhamdulillah. Very good, very good. And Salah, what makes us Muslims and we should uh, keep uh, praying, inshallah, uh, on time, five times a, a day, and ask others to do that if your friends are uh maybe sometimes they missed one prayer or something you can uh remind them and tell them prayer is very good for your hasnat for your akhra for your dunya god will open a lot of ways for you just because of praying and um of course making dua all right very good. Miss I'm very happy. Something? Yes, sure. Like me, I like I always like my sister, my mm -hmm. like my big sister always watches scary movies and I, I just wanna like get into her room and like for example go and get the book so I could study for homeworks and Good morning, lovely students. Welcome to our science class. Today is Sunday and the date is 31 of January 2021. We're talking about soil. Remember the soil and layers of soil. Last thing we were talking about was layers of soil. First of all, why soil is important? Because it grows plants. Excellent, because it grows plants. What does soil have? So uh, if I am asking you, what is soil? What are you going to tell me? Remember the it's definition of soil? A beach thing. Mm -hmm. I, I don't okay, know. Okay, Lara Justinia, can you tell me what is soil? Read it from here, my dear. Okay, soil is... Uh... Mi mix mixture mixture of water air tiny pieces of rock and humus so yes. what is humus if soil is a mixture of all of that water air tiny pieces of rocks and humus what is humus who knows what is humus <gasps> yes you come up can I read from the book? Yes, please. Hummus is a rich mixture of the decomposed, decomposed or broke in down remains. remains of plants and animals okay guys now the very good question over here what is the use of decomposed or broken down uh, remains of plants and animals why uh, decomposing uh, stuff are very important for soil why what do they give to the soil remember start with an n new new what does humus give to the soil? Very important to grow plants, to make the land uh, very healthy, to make it fertile. Remember girls, it gives the land nutrients. What does it give the land? Nutrients. And nutrients are very, very, very important for what? For soil. Growing, excellent for soil and growing plant. So soil is a mixture of what guys? Water, 
air, small rocks, and humus. When I ask you, what is humus? It's a decomposing plants and animals. All right. When this soil is very good for uh, growing and it is full of humus, we call this land fertile. What do we call this plant? Fertile. 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 Okay, Fatima, are you talking, my dear? Yes. Yes, yeah, Fatima, are you no, talking? I'm, I'm talking no. What are you doing? I'm on the city. All right. So, and we learned that there are some layers of soil. Soil has so many layers. This is the big picture over here. You can see on top the flower or the plants. What goes down here? Three parts of layers. Remember guys, the three parts of layers? Look at the three parts of layers. This is the number one, this is number two, and this is number three. One, two, and three. Did you do your homework, guys? Please, uh, and uh... This page, I asked you to try to do it. Did you try? No, no. I didn't, didn't post us. Yes, I told you just in class, I didn't post it in the weekly plan. I asked you in class only. I told you, please try to do it. And if you don't, it's okay. So guys. I did it, I did it, miss, miss, miss. I did it, I did it, did it. You did it, Lara. Very good. So Lara, can you tell me which layer can grow plants? Which layer will grow plant? Is it the top soil, subsoil, or the bedrock? What? Which wow. layer will grow the plants? Is it the top soil or the subsoil or the bedrock? Subsoil? Of course, the top soil on the top over here, look at plants. Plants are growing on the top over here. Is it right? Can you see that guys? Miss Miss, can I see the other one? Yeah, top soil is right. Top soil, most plants will grow where? Up on the top. Where will plant grow? Down, deep in the soil, or up, no. up? No. Okay, no. most no. plants will yeah, grow up grow top down. soil. And it is yeah. very fertile because it contains yeah. what? My mom said, yeah, I need the flower will be down. No, the flower will be up. Excellent, very good. The flower will be up, up, up. That's right. What about the soil? Top soil is very fertile because it has what? Who gives it? Who give because it to nutrients? It has, because it has humus. Excellent, Yagamar. Bravo! It has humus. Then the subsoil it contains over here. The subsoil is not the very light area. The one in the middle subsoil we call it brownish? over here yes the brownish a little bit brown this area is the subsoil over here what is the subsoil a little pieces of rocks it has a little pieces of rocks and a little bit larger all soil contains rocks but as long as you go down deep you will find bigger and bigger Every time you dig down the layers, you will find bigger, what? Rocks. Rocks, excellent. Finally, when you reach the bedrock, from the name bedrock. Bedrock. Bedrock, what? I mean. Okay, from the, from the word bedrock, bedrock means it's a sol solid rock, like a bed. It looks like a bed. Look, it's very huge rock. Look like what? A bed. Okay. So now the question here again, which layer will grow plants? Topsoil, subsoil or bedrock? 
Top soil. Excellent, Yelara. Top soil. So in on the top, the plants will grow. Which one? Okay, which one contains humus? Does the subsoil contain humus, Ya Fatima? Subsoil in the middle down. Does it contain humus? Excellent. No, very good. Very good. Okay. Very good. Now we learned the layers of soil. Today we're going to learn the types of soil. Not all soil look Miss, like no, each I'm other. What? Miss, Miss, wait a second. Actually, I think it's not because my mom was learning about those from the Quran. Miss, can I tell you something? Yes, yeah, Gamar. Quickly. This reminds me the brown one. with cookies. Oh, does it remind you of the beach? Yeah, like yeah. Okay, the sand on the beach is it the same that we plant? Uh, uh, uh we grow plants on. No. No. So so, so so soil must be very different. This is in the middle, the one that she said it reminds her of um, cookies. This one, my dear lovely, it should remind you of the beach because it's a sandy soil. A sandy That's soil. A sandy soil will let water pass through easily. Also, it will dry easily remember the beach is it very uh dry or wet all the time i have a question dry. 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 very good miss how the soil is colored white it's not really white because it is dry when it's really dry it is lighter okay but when it's a little bit moist or there is water or it contains humus it will be very dark because humus are very dark uh, uh, substance. Now let's look at the first picture. This is soil. This is soil and it contains a lot of clay. Why clay? Clay because clay is what? Wet. Just clay is, clay so is what? Wet. And it is sticky. The clay is very sticky. Clay particles, so soil that contains clay particles, they are fertile but heavy and sticky. Is it good to grow plants? Heavy? Yes. Yeah, I don't think. So. No, 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 no. It is. Why? Because of the word. Fertile. Once you see fertile, you have to know that it is very good to uh, grow plants. So soil that contains a lot of clay. Are they fertile or not? It's fertile. Yeah. Yes, and they are very good to have to grow plants. So they are very heavy and sticky. Look at it. It looks sticky because it is clay. But sandy, what about sandy soils? Um, it's not good. Sandy soil, water pass through easily. They dry out quickly. Very they good. They, are, they, they can dry very quickly and they are... Uh -uh. They have to be in the sun. Finally, there are soils that are mostly silt. We call it silt. It feels slippery. It will go all the way from your hands once you touch them. It will not stick in your hand just like the sand or the clay. It is slit. We call it silt. What do we call it? Silt. silt. They are slippy, slippery when they are wet and they hold moisture for a long time they also have nutrients very well so are they good to grow plants or not if they have a lot of nutrients oh no really not good for plants yes oh. they are we need nutrients what? we need a lot of nutrients yes it is very is good fertile over there 
Yes, both of them. Both of them are very good for growing plants. The one, only one that is not really good for planting is the sand. We don't grow plants on sand. We need clay yeah. or silt. What do we need? Clay or silt. Excellent, excellent girls, excellent. Now, what does soil needs to be very good and grow plant what does it need what needs, did you say what does soil needs to grow plant to be a very good soil it needs something start with n Nutrients. Nutrients. Excellent, 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 excellent. So nutrients, what are nutrients? Nutrients are the substance that plants take in from the soil through their roots to help them live and grow. Yeah. So from where plants take the nutrients? From where? From the? From, from the sky? The soil. Excellent, from the soil. It will go through the roots and then up, up, up to the rest of the plant and then it will help it to live and grow. Look at these sea grapes and sea oats. They grow on sandy beaches. So, no, so sand can grow plants, but not all sand can grow plants. Uh, sorry, not all plants can grow on sand. Only the sea grapes and sea oats. So if there are plants related to the beach, yes, they can grapes. grow on okay. sand. Okay? But cabbage will grow well where? In clay soil. Can you see? So each plant will decide where should I grow on clay <laughs> or sand like, or silt. Where should I live? Yes, yes. Most of plants they prefer clay or silt, but it also sand can grow beach plant. So sand will grow what? A beach. A beach. Plant. Can a carrot grow on a sand? Oh. No, it needs just like cabbage. It needs clay soil. What the how, what is the type of soil that uh, uh, carrot need and cabbage? Uh. Clay. Very good. Okay, it is very important to do what planting to keep the soil and conserve the soil. How? We give it a compo decomposing stuff. We fill it with nutrients. How do we do that? When we add things like eggshells or peeling and fruits, vegetables to compost, we can even add newspaper. Don't add animal products as adds meat and cheese. What, this is how you, de what, really, this is how you give nutrients to the soil. When things are decomposing, uh, dead, uh, you can put it in the plants. For example, if you have a plant pot, what should you do if you see dead leaves on the ground? You can take the dead leaves on the ground and put it back in the soil. It will decompose and give this plant nutrients, okay? So after things dies, you can put them in back in the soil so it can give them new Like recycling, like recycling. Yes, Wallahi Alara, I'm very proud of you. Excellent, excellent. Like recycling, yes, you can put them back in the soil so they can give nutrients again to the soil and make it more fertile. Okay, girls, we reached the end of our class. We're going to continue definitely tomorrow, and I will have your questions and see whatever you want to ask. Okay? Also, we're going to do some. Which my nails? Up. Nice, lovely. I love them. They I look put cool. Them All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. We'll definitely see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Enjoy your day. Bye bye. Bye.